Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and also with another LEGO Star Wars Throwback Thursday. First one in a long, long time. Well, since now then, I have taken a break for a while, and now it's about time to do so. So, in today's image, we have the Imperial Dropship and Rebel Speeder Battle Packs from 2008. So, so starting off with the instruction manuals, which have the two logos and that red Darth Vader border since kind of kind of like that of the year prior, but without the 30th anniversary bit to it and picture of both sets on Tatooine and the set numbers and yeah. On the back, go with how to win on the online survey, add of Lego Club, and add for some other sets from the time and these two of which next next throwback Thursday and the little features of it and the pieces that come with the set of course and the last steps and so now on to the new thing Okay, so we would, so for both the help pack, for, so I would get the, from left to right have the for original trilogy Stormtrooper, but would you get three of in one in the Imperial Dropship set, and also the Imperial Shadow Trooper, also exclusive to the Imperial Dropship set. set. But also was it a tie crawler set year prior to this one? And of course it has the helmet prints of which have done pretty well and all of the stormtrooper ones, of which are kind of similar to that of like later ones, but not dual molded, of course. And Child Trooper Helmet one, done pretty well, of course. And the front torso printing done quite nicely, but except on different color different color patterns of course and of course have not at all any light printing well and as for the rebel spear one which you get about four of the this rebel trooper here which some nice uh printing and of course some some all right uh face printing which as you can see does have the simple dots for eyes kind of effect which is was common for the time and well, this they kept up until the 10th anniversary sets the the following year of these two, yeah. And also, it, interesting is, as you can see, helmet piece of which, same as most other sets, of course, with the uh, classic visor piece, or classic visor piece on there, yeah. And as you can see, that the two troopers, of which plain black head pieces, with well, since they're both uh, stormtrooper ones, but which I think would be just fine in modern day stuff, because even though for quite so long they, of which use the annoying angry clone face as well. Well, at least until uh, very recent ones starting get doing different face prints, of course. And if look to the backs of which, as you see. You know, that both of the Stormtrooper and Shadow Troopers uh, ones are done quite alike, of course, and nothing for the Rebel Trooper ones, well, since they're earlier fix, of course, and not and no double side face to the Scout Rebel Trooper, but yeah. And that is it for the things, and now on to the sets. First off is this Rebel Speeder, of course. But I see quite black, you know, um, kind of like how most uh, speeders on Tatooine and whatnot kind of are. <laughs> and, and well, and all those, what you can say, kind of boat-like in a ways, but actually it's just a, 
a hovering kind of one. But yeah. <clears throat> but where else for the front part of which? Which has a few curt slopes on it, and also one with the rebellion symbol, of course. And then the uh, front uh, windshield piece, the common uh, car windshield piece, of course. Yes. And also, if you notice the like plates on the sides and a few clips to that, which hold a few blasters on them, which you can actually detach and give to the Rebel Trooper minifigs. And also, enough space. And also these front part of which, not at all any control pieces panel pieces, which I think they should have included, but yeah. But aside from that, enough space to fit not just one or two, but three of Rebel Trooper minifigs into, of which very nice, of course. And as for the back part of which, this have a single small wheel piece act, probably acting as the back uh, engine bit or something, but yeah. And as for the this turn part of it, which you can is actually detachable and just attached on a two by four studs there. And as you can see, it's just also quite simplistic as it is. As it, and also it does have the rebellion symbol again, but in, with a goldish kind of tint to it. Very interesting. And above it is a, is a turn that can rotate. Oh, whoops. This turret that rotates 360, of course. It has the classic space blaster and a dish and cone piece onto it, or cylinder piece onto it. And also enough space to sit in your fourth and last trooper me thing onto in the app. And so now that is about it with this one of which. And now on to the Imperial Dropship one, of which this is one of the only times we ever had this one. Well, unlike with the other one, which this one did get a remake, but in 2019, which I'll go over later, of course, but yeah. But as for this front part of which, which I think we have seen mostly in like Exoforce or something, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I could have been, but at least we do see it in a couple of giant intercepts. Or Jedi Starfire sets, of course. As I flip it down a which, and then enough space to fit your Shadow Trooper minifig on to, of course. And going down the sides of which, as where you get three of the jagged slopes, or I mean, kind of shortish jagged slopes with the Empire symbol on it, and also cone pieces being blasters, of course. And top part of which, you get a longer jagged slope with the Empire symbol, and whereas these two blasters here, just like the other, you can take off and give to the Stormtroopers. There's that. And then farther back down, do you have those like cornerish kind of plate pieces acting as wings and all? And also, you can like lift them up and bring this platform eye right off of it, of course. And also enough space to fit up to around to fit to all three stormtroopers in this set. But although, you, and like, if you want to equal it out to four, you can just get an additional one from your RPs. But yeah, and as for the back part of which, I see a couple more of those wheel pieces on one of those pin bricks there. And of course, acting as the back engines, of course. And so now for a little comparison. This is with the 2019 20th Anniversary Edition version, which, as you can see, with the wing pieces, quite different corner brick pieces instead of these other ones of which. But also with this version, the bottom part does flop a lot, quite a, quite a lot. But this one of which it's in stays in place since it's well using that bit of which which the other didn't of course, and also different uh, cockpit pieces since of course this one a little more up to date obviously, 
and they do open up well, of course. But also, the newer version does have a control or control panel piece on it, which the other just doesn't, probably because they couldn't fit it into their horse. But yeah. So, but also one difference is this in two thousand and eight was only about ten bucks and ten dollars, and this in twenty nineteen was twenty. But well, in this one's case, it. Probably because 20 because had the additional 20th anniversary Han Solo minifig onto the course, like the other 20th anniversary sets also did. But yeah, and that's about it for that. And also the two battle packs together, of which the this of which does hold quite a bit more. But, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. <coughs> so overall, I think this of which a, these two of which are quite good sets for the time, like $10 and you can get uh, both kinds of, both Imperial Stormtroopers and Rebel Troopers, of course, but yeah. And also, do get an additional Shadow Trooper, or which we barely see much anymore, but yeah. Or see often. But also do, and they do, and of course it's like one build that separates into two separate builds, which quite nice and all. But although it, with this one, which the 2019 version may have improved over it, but I can still forgive how this one turned out. But yeah. And now, if this one were to be remade nowadays, I think it it could be a little. It could it be nice. It, I'm sure it can reach being a little bit better, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.